Let's now take a look at how to access the various features of the Educator Android application. Once you open the Educator app on your phone or a tablet, this will take you to this screen as follows. On this main screen, you will find two programs which will be Learning Module and Revision Module. Let's first look into the Learning Module. You will find all the courses here. Let's pick one, example Chemistry. And then you'll find all your chapters that get listed under this particular subject. When you click any chapter, you'll find four things. Firstly, the NCRT book. Second, the lectures. Third, reference material. Lastly, assignments. We'll now delve into each of this. First is the NCRT book. We come back. Let's get into lectures. Under lectures, you'll have three things. Firstly, a lecture PPT, which is the same that your teacher uses in the classroom. Second, an AS book, which is a digital version of the Diksha study manual given to you. And lastly, a homework, which will be in the format of a test. You'll have two things on a reference material. First is a PU question bank and second will be a self-study. The PU question bank will have all your one mark, two marks and four mark questions along with solutions from the PU board examination point of view. Self-study is for you to practice for the competitive examinations. And lastly, you'll have assignments which are again divided into three different levels as easy, moderate and advanced. And each assignment level will have a series of assignments under them. Now let's try and attempt a homework. I go to a lecture, pick this homework. The moment you select a homework, you'll find this particular screen, which will tell you how many questions are there, the total marks assigned and the time given to it. Once you click on take this test, the countdown time starts and then you can go on to take your test. The test will be in an MCQ based format. Once you come to the last question, you'll have an option to end the test. And once you click end test, you will get your results immediately. The first screen shows your score, which is how many questions have you got right. It tells you the time that you've taken and also shows you how accurate have you been. The second tab over here, which is rank list, shows your rank vis-a-vis -vis other students in your particular section. And the third tab answers shows you the detailed solutions and answers for all the questions in the test. For instance, this question, which I didn't attempt, the right answer was C. And when you look at the bottom, it tells you what is the right way to arrive at this particular solution. Let's come back to the main screen and select revision module. Again, you'll find all your subjects and for each subject, you'll find all the chapters and under each chapter, you will find all your revision videos built in here. Let's look at posting and answering doubts. At any point you have a doubt, you can click on this button on any of your page. This will take you to the doubts platform. Once you land on this page, type the title of your doubt, give all the details of your doubt, select the subject and select the topic and then click on post my doubt. Your doubt is now live and can be looked at by other students and teachers and answered by anybody. If you want to go back and look at various doubts which has been posed by students, here is where you will find all these doubts. You also have a filter which will tell you doubts which have been recently added, doubts which are very popular among students. You also have the option of following some certain particular doubts. And you can also look at what are the doubts that you have particularly asked in any particular subject and in a particular chapter.